If you need to add up the numbers in cells in Microsoft Excel, there are a couple of ways that you can do this, depending on how many numbers it is. If we just stick a random number in cell A1, and then we'll stick another random number in cell A2, to add those two numbers together, we can keep it really simple, and in cell A3, just underneath, we can type equals A1 plus A2. Simple as that. And that will give us our result. That's the number at the bottom there. So that's the simplest way of adding up two numbers. However, if we were to have quite a few numbers listed in a column here, what we don't want to be doing is creating a formula which says equals A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 and so on. It would become ludicrously long and complicated. Instead, there's a very simple way that we can instruct Excel to add up a group of cells. And all we have to do is tell it where that group of cells is. The formula, as usual, starts with equals, and then we use the word sum, which means add up. In brackets, we then tell it where that group of cells is that we want to add up. And again, the simplest way of doing this is to highlight them. So click and drag to highlight all of the cells we want to add up. And you can see when we let go, what's happened here in our formula is Excel has included the first cell in that group, A1 at the top, then a colon, followed by A9, which is the last cell in that group. And you could simply type that in manually yourself. We close our brackets and we press enter. And that's then added up the total of all of those cells. And of course, if we were to change one of those numbers, then that formula would immediately update. And we can see it's got a little E in there because the, uh, the number is too long, really, for the cell. So I'll just reduce that number a little bit so we can see that formula is working. Now, there is a quicker way of doing that without having to type that formula in yourself. Let's delete that now. What you can do if you have a list of numbers like this and you want to add them all up and put that total in at the bottom is to use the auto sum feature. Now on your toolbar at the top or the ribbon in the home section, we come along to the right hand side and you'll find this little symbol looks a little bit like an E. And if we click that symbol once, what happens if we look over here is our group of cells has been highlighted and that formula has been entered, guessing, and Excel here is guessing, that this is the correct group of cells. If it's not, we can highlight any group of cells that we like. We'll highlight that group, that's the one we want. And you can either press Enter at this point, or press the Auto Sum button again to accept. So if I just delete that again, here we have a list of numbers. To add that list up very, very quickly, Simply click the auto sum button twice and the job's done.